this right here is definitely one of the best single people or couple style travel trailer that I've ever seen. It is so big and cool, so lightweight, easy to tow, easy to manage, and just packed full of features. Let's go take a look. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. For y'all that are new here, my name is Miles with Firmly Unbound. And if you are a returning viewer, I am here in Elkhart, Indiana. I'm actually gonna get underneath the awning of this other trailer here real quick because I'm here at this Forest River event. And this is actually just a big week in the RV industry in general. It's what they call open house. And it's when all of the RV manufacturers that are in the Indiana area, which is a vast, vast majority of them, they all bring out all of their new 2024 stuff on display for dealership to come and take a look at. And so I obviously have to get here to an event like this to show you all the new stuff that's fun and exciting. And this here, this Geo Pro from Rockwood is really stinking cool. It is raining outside and I am not afraid of getting wet, but my camera equipment is, so I'm gonna try to stay out of the rain as best as possible. But this here, I will get the floor plan layout and the specs on the screen. It actually even might be inside the door right here. It's a G15 FBS. And yes, we do have specs and layout here in the door. So you can see here, it is only 17 feet, five inches long. It's only 3,435 pounds with a 1,063 pound cargo carrying capacity. So going to be very easy to tow, only a 500 pound hitch weight or so. And this is something where even like, I had a Toyota Tacoma, the V6 Toyota Tacoma, would be a great option for that. This is something I could easily see myself traveling with, with my Tacoma had I still have it. Or even if you have a half ton truck, it's great for that too. Plus there's gonna be lots of SUV options out there in the market that will be able to tow something like this. Also have to show you all these features on here. I mean, there is so stinking much to talk about. Composite panel sidewall, so no wood components in the sidewall. You're going to have um, 12 volt controlled heated tanks. So yeah, basically 12 volt heat pads on your water tanks. That is also super impressive. There's hardly anything else in this size travel trailer that's going to have that. Um, solar on the roof, prep data, backup camera. Let's see, make sure I'm not missing anything else. Obviously you can kind of read through this, but I'm trying to make sure to highlight the really important stuff. Um, let's look underneath here and see what they're doing for the tires and suspension. So this is a little bit of a more rugged, kind of off-road style travel trailer. And you can see up front, let's just start up front and work our way back. So you have a molded fiberglass front cap. It's a three quarter cut front cap. So you have your rock guard up front, big spot for batteries there. And then you have two 20 pound propane bottles. That is a windshield up front as well that just sits real nicely into that space. Slam latch doors on all of your baggage doors. So that will open up and that'll just be a nice tall storage space there. We'll slam shut. And then down underneath here, you will have more storage as well. And that's going to go basically underneath the bed there. So nice access to that storage. Slam shut. Down underneath here, you have these manual stabilizers, but these are what are, they're like really, I think they call them like quick drop stabilizers. I can't remember exactly, but they're from Lipper. And what you do, you need to get a drill with an attachment that just goes on the end of there and shoot that down real quick with a drill. It'll take literally like one second. And this is going to make this incredibly sturdy. This stabilizer system is very, very good at making sure your RV does stay stable. So it's a good system there. You have spot to store your sewer hose underneath here. And you can see it has exposed water tanks underneath here, but that's not really a big deal because it's such a small travel trailer. I wouldn't anticipate most people living out of this thing. And most people probably not gonna find themselves in conditions where, you know, you have to worry about your water tanks freezing. But if that is a concern for you, keep in mind, you can't always bring your own water jug with you. Like you can bring a 10 gallon water jug with you and keep it inside the RV if you would like as well. There's ways that that can be worked around and ways that you can figure that out. To come along the back, see a, a lot of curve there in the roof line, gonna give you added ceiling height inside, ladder to get up onto the roof already installed, water connection here along the back and spot to, it looks like, oh no, outdoor shower right there. So outdoor shower, hot and cold water, have your slide out on the side here. It is going to be a Schwintech style slide mechanism. And then down underneath here, it will have a torsion axle, which gets it up off the ground a little bit more. It's nice to see that single spot here where all your black and gray tanks will dump out. And then as you come this way, going to have pass through storage to the other side. So that does actually go through on both sides and more storage space through here as well. 
You have frameless windows on here, which is super surprising because there's even a lot of like fifth wheels and other stuff out there that don't have frameless windows. So to see it on this size travel trailer is just wildly impressive. And then as soon as we get a chance, we will go ahead and hop inside and take a look. Real quick, before we step inside of this RV, there's something that I'm really excited to talk to y'all about. And I actually want to ask you for a favor. So if you've been here for a while, you know that I pretty much never ask y'all of anything, but I'm going to right now because I started my second YouTube channel, which is called Firmly Unbound. Firmly Unbound is the name of my company and Firmly Unbound is an expression of exploration and freedom in work, play, and faith. And I'm really excited about what's to come on this YouTube channel. There's a link down below in the description of this video and in the comments as well where you can subscribe to Firmly Unbound. And I pretty much spent the whole last month traveling dang near coast to coast across the United States to show you what it means to live Firmly Unbound. So some exciting video content is coming. Can't wait to see y'all there. Okay, so as we step inside here, you do have a solid step going into your living space. And as we walk inside here, first of all, you have a Murphy bed, which I really like the idea of a Murphy bed in a travel trailer this size. I'm gonna do my best to show you around as best I can in this tight space. It is a little bit tight in here because of the size of the travel trailer, but look at how practical this floor plan layout is. You get a whole rear kitchen set up in here. I mean, a ton of storage for this size travel trailer, a big kitchen space, with a three burner cooktop. I mean, that's like not even necessary. I don't know who's going to be using three burners at the same time in a travel trailer like this. So that is just, I mean, they are just going overkill with that. And then you will have the glass cover here so you can get countertop space with that as well. And as you go back through here, we'll actually just start in the back and then work our way forward. So you have your restroom here in this back space. This looks like it's going to have a soft closed toilet seat as well. That's a porcelain foot flush toilet. So you're going to have the same style toilet you would have in like a high-end fifth wheel. Storage space there, max air vent fan up here as well. So nice, good quality vent fan. Stainless steel sink, medicine cabinet, and really nice looking space through here. You have a bathtub in here, which I don't know how many people would find practical use of the bathtub. I'm curious what you think about that because it's not really a model like for kids, but maybe if you're like a single parent with a kid, then it could be something that would be great for that as well. Or if you're a couple with a kid, it could be great for that. Underneath here, you have this shower miser system. So what this is, that little blue um, pipe right there, that is something that is going to change color as the water gets warm. So what this does, it actually recirculates your water through your water lines there. And as the water heats up, that is going to then indicate as it changes colors that the water's warm so that you can then switch this valve right here. So then it sends water through your line up to your shower head. The reason they do this is because your gray tank capacity, and if you're going with a fresh water capacity as well and camping off of fresh water and boondocking, all of your water is very, very precious and your gray tank space is very precious as well. So that is going to make it so you don't have to waste water. You know, a lot of people turn their shower on, wait for the water to get warm and then step in. But every drop of water that comes out while you're waiting for the water to get warm is being wasted. So this here will recirculate the water until it gets warm. Then you can switch that valve right there and you can set it to run through the shower once the water is warm so you don't waste any water. You can see the curb in the ceiling here, very, very intense. So as I step up in here, really not bad. It's about where you would typically stand. I'd say it's right at six foot two. I'm six two with my shoes on and it's right at about six two. You can actually see, oh, uh, maybe not. You can almost see where my hair touched the skylight. So it is a little tight, but I mean, I certainly can make it work. I'm not that picky. And you would have to hold that shower head up over your head if you're tall like I am. You also have this spot here to store some things in the shower and you have a shower curtain in the space. Medicine cabinet storage, you have shelved out storage back through there. And then storage down underneath here. Pretty shallow through there. And then another spot here with this cargo netting that you have. You have a spot to hang a towel in here and then you will have a sliding pocket door that will slide there for privacy. And what I like about this too, is it looks like this sliding pocket door is going to actually offer good privacy as there's not like gaps along the top or the bottom. It looks really nice. So really good quality there. I really like what I'm seeing with that bathroom space for the size of this travel trailer. Back here in the kitchen area, you're going to have storage underneath your sink. So you'll have storage space down underneath here, back through there, and storage underneath here. Magnet latches on these cabinets as well, so it just holds them 
close real well. Outlet here, bottle opener. This is going to be a microwave and air fryer combo. And then you're going to have your sink here, which looks like it's going to be a square sink. It is a square sink. So you have a square stainless steel sink with a sink cover underneath that, and you have a black faucet. Window here, all of your windows will have pull down blackout shades. Again, just another premium quality thing. And all of your windows will open as well. This is a pop-up charging port, so it has USB Type-C and standard USB plugs, two outlets, and a wireless charging pad on top. So when you drop this down, that's going to just be a wireless charging pad as well. Going back through this space, you can see your whole kitchen setup. You have your refrigerator here. This is a Magic Chef refrigerator. So good adequate space there to, you know, do a weekend camping trip, maybe like a five day camping trip, something like that, have enough space. And you have pantry, look at all that pantry storage. Very, very impressive. Now this table can be removed. So if you wanted to remove this table, you can. And when you slide this back out of the way or however you want to configure it, you can see here you have a great spot to sit and watch TV. It does come installed with the TV. What a comfortable sofa. I'm actually really impressed with this. This is not bad at all. And I even think, don't tell me this reclines as well. It does have, oh, it does recline. Wow, you're going to even have recliners that come off the back. It's not going to lay back, but you will have basically this extendable leg rest there. Oh gosh, and now it's pretty strong on the latch there, so I gotta get up to push this back down. But you're going to have kick up leg rests on that sofa. And then when you wanna make this down into a bed, it will essentially be like a jackknife sofa. So let me show you what this looks like in the bed formation. Okay, so take this table out. There's just a knob here that you screw so that you can undo this table right here. And we'll see how long this actually takes. I don't think I'll speed up this process so you can actually see what the full process is like. And it looks like you have to unscrew this all the way out. Just a little annoying, because it is not a short screw. It's already taking longer than I thought it would. And I don't know if it was true that I had to screw that all the way out. I might've been mistaken, because it still is not super easy to pull out of there. Okay. So then you take this out, you're going to have your jackknife sofa function here. You can see storage space underneath there, so you can store this table underneath the sofa. Flip that down, then you have these latches right here. This is going to flip down here. We'll have this um, kind of like end portion of the bed that will come down so it looks a little bit more finished off and you just have to be careful because it can pinch your hands which is exactly what they're telling me so I need to use two hands and make sure that does not happen which means I have to set this table down and grab it on the side flip this up there you go and now you have your bed so not terribly difficult it was a little bit more difficult because I was trying to do it with one hand and that's going to be your bed set up there. So that's going to be about a queen size bed that you have in this area. You see, you have the strap to hold the bed in place and just look at how big of a sleeping surface that is. I mean, that is incredibly impressive. And then when you need the seating space, you just flip that back up and you have the sofa and it's really not going to take more than 30 to 60 seconds to convert this back and forth. You have bedside table space, USB ports over here with a USB type C connection. This is a wrapped countertop there and wardrobe storage up through here with clothing rods. You can get the windshield up front, so it's going to have natural light plus a pull down blackout shade. And you have outlets on that side and outlet up here. Wardrobe storage on that side. And just imagine, I mean, laying in bed, you have your perfect viewing angle. Oh my gosh, and the bed's not even bad. It's actually a comfortable mattress. Oh, this thing is so impressive. You have a TV there. You can see it from the bed while you're laying down. It's a 32 inch screen, smart TV. Coleman mock AC system here. So it's going to be a very quiet AC system that will just dump air into this area. Since it's a small travel trailer, it's not ducted throughout the entire travel trailer. And just really, really impressive. I think this is just such a cool little practical model for somebody that's single, maybe a single parent, or you know, a couple just wanting to get out and camp. And this is a high end, small lightweight travel trailer. So the price isn't gonna be too crazy on this. It's definitely not an entry level travel trailer though. So it's not gonna be super cheap either, but you're getting what you pay for in this. You really are. And I don't have pricing information, unfortunately, but I'm sure if I can find some, I'll put it down below in the description of this video. Very curious what you think about this Geo Pro here. 
Keep in mind, this is a Rockwood Geo Pro. Rockwood and Flagstaff are essentially the same thing, and Flagstaff is going to have their E-Pro. So the Flagstaff E-Pro should have something similar as well. That just has a different exterior and interior color, same floor plan layouts though. So very, very cool. Curious your thoughts. Let me know down below in the comments what you think and if you could see yourself camping in something like this. That's all I got for y'all. Until next time, live firmly on bound.